Today's very latest news coming to you first from the fabulous Patia Media Group here in Patia. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. This week's revelation that the wheels of a yellow line monorail didn't just go round and round, but became detached in the capital, crashing into a passing taxi, has led to a full inspection and the Deputy Transport Minister telling the media that some trains have been suspended for use until repairs are made. Blaming a production batch of so-called guide wheels, he was also told that the cause was either the wheel bearing or excess heat. Either way, a split pin would fix that, but instead services on the yellow line have been temporarily cut from every five to ten minutes to every half an hour, whilst the fix is done. The Thai Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation did a final tally of accident reports around the country during the New Year break, 190 deaths and 1,600 injured from December the 29th through to midnight New Year's Day. Speeding and drink driving took much of the blame, with all but 15% involving motorbikes, which indicates that in most cases, accidents involved locals near their homes. As the Thai Parliament prepares to debate the New Year budget, the Prime Minister has stated that the nation is in somewhat of a crisis, but will go ahead with the infamous virtual cash giveaway to those on lower incomes at some point. Of greater significance to business and, of course, expats living here, is that within the proposed budget there is no allocation of funds to prop up the Electricity Authority, which has been told to keep the power costs more or less as they are. With subsidised rates announced quarterly, it remains to be seen whether you and I will see price freezes through 2024 or a huge hike if the subsidies stop. Police on Phuket are searching for a 38-year-old British man accused of beating his fellow countrymen with a handgun whilst they both rode and argued in a tuk-tuk. Daft? Of course, as weapon possession is limited to Thai nationals here anyway, and the carrying of a weapon in public is taken very seriously. But the Brit, known only so far as Jamie, managed to beat his pal so hard that the clip of bullets fell out and onto the tuk-tuk floor. His accommodation was found deserted when police moved in, but his passport was found amongst possessions left. And a sharp lesson to one German reality TV starlet who took to PP Island for her holiday. Dressed only in a skimpy bikini, perhaps for her social media, she picked up a baby monkey at a local tourist attraction, only for the monkey to bite her, of course. That was compounded by the mother giving her a nasty nip on the leg as well. Lesson learned? No. Instead, she tells her sheep that she's scared to go out, in a state of shock and, of course, in need of a series of injections against rabies. The moral? Feed them if you must. But monkeys aren't puppies or kittens. They are, after all, wildlife. Meanwhile, at home and the local tourism office have set their New Year goals already in Patia, hoping to see 27 million visitors, that's domestic and international, coming to the city this year. That's four million up on last year. It's not a huge hike, but will support local business for sure. To achieve their goals, they need to work with City Hall to set multiple events, even through the low season, encouraging footfall to the city of fun. As police teams have long been working to collect evidence against so-called vloggers who film here, or in many cases go live behind paywalls, essentially broadcasting content which is in many cases illegal, so it appears that many, having made enough cash or not, are taking a break. Some tell us that it's not worth the hassle and the others are said to be worried about the repercussions as the investigations get more real. Either way, most do welcome any decline in what's often seen as an invasion of privacy and usually is aimed at the lonely and desperate away from these shores and back in their mother's basements. Swingers at a local golf course in our province were somewhat put off their drives, putts and birdies this week when staff called in an emergency team to remove a record-sized snake. How big? Well, he or she is around 14 feet long, and to lift it took five men. Proper snake-catching gear enabled the team to remove it safely and take it to a more appropriate place, and we're reminded that snake removal of any type is a free service in Thailand, and in reality, best left to the experts. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32 degrees but dropping down to a chilly 23 at night, the real feel in the sun today of 37 and a day of sunshine and high humidity. Local and national news today 
from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.